Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the sixth American Muslim Consumer Conference, The Emerging Paradigm Faith, Values, and Innovation. My name is Reem El Shafaqi. I'm pleased to be your MC for today. I'm from Dinar Standard. I'm senior associate with Dinar Standard. Dinar Standard is a strategy advisory firm in the Islamic economy sectors of halal and tayyib food, Islamic and ethical finance, and Muslim lifestyle sectors of fashion, media, cosmetics, and travel. We, we provide thought leadership in this space, and we provide strategy advisory and growth strategy advisory and marketing campaigns to clients globally. I'd like to call Faraz Khan, please, to the stage. Faraz Khan is founder of Faraz Khan Art Studio, and he'll be opening our conference. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Bismillah rahman rahim. The emerging paradigm, faith, values, and innovation. We're all coming together to understand, think globally, act locally, with that consciousness in mind that we're here working together, forming and putting all these values together, uh, not just values that are Islam-based, but also ethical and innovative ideas in business community. What I want to talk about is from faith perspective, just to get you thinking from our tradition, Islamic tradition and values. And that is when Quran talks about working together, it doesn't put a value on religion, culture, language, land or people, ethnicities. All these things are there, but it talks about first and foremost, it brings us together with this idea of ta'awanu ala al-birri wa taqwa That come together, come to understand, be together, right? with that idea of doing good, providing good, and and taqwa, piety, right, God consciousness. And this is what we understand from the, uh, the earlier message of the Qur'an and the, the prophetic tradition, is that it, it talks about all of the ayat are in regards to the code of conduct that was broken by the Meccan community, right, the Quraysh in general. And, and this is what we understand that all of it talks about how not to, right, live one's life. So the Quran actually gives us a challenge. It talks about It talks about you haven't climbed, the, uh, the, you haven't taken the path to the summit. You haven't taken that challenge. And what is that challenge? Freeing of slaves, feeding people, being good. And, and then the Qur'an actually t tells believers that then, thumma, right, after doing all the good conduct, these, these values that you have, that faith that inspires you to do good work, right, all of that, after that you have faith, and then after that you have demonstrated that you are capable of being a, a person that will be an ambassador to humanity for good, right, in bringing good to people. And I think this is what we're coming together for. These values, the faith that we have that bonds us together, the values that bond us together, uh, this is what uh, bringing us to, to that idea of, of taking that challenge. And this is what the Quran talks about, taking that challenge. So we're here to take that challenge. And one last idea I want to mention to you before uh, my time runs out. Um, and I, this is something, it's still early for some people. I understand that you've been traveling and, and, and coming here. I want you to understand and recognize that um, whenever we're looking at, at um, these eth ethical values and, and uh, code of conduct, there is this idea of uh, emerging paradigm. And I think once we bring all of this together, whether we see it in the environmental field or business field or other fields of studies, that it has to, uh, that we have to take responsibility and we have to develop systems, right, and institutions and organizations to guide that 
uh, conduct, whether it's the business community or any other community that we have. We have to have systems in place to kind of be able to, because this is Islam in a nutshell, right, uh, could be uh, talked about in a single verse. And this verse talks about three things to do and three things not to do. And I'll be very quick in this, but I want you to kind of think about this. I don't know if you've thought about this. But God commands you to do three things. And I'll give you the Arabic. Adl, justice. This is where it all starts from. How we live, are we just to the community that we're serving, to the clients, to the customers, to the consumers. Ihsan, excellence. Have we done that to the best of our abilities? And uh, a few years back, I mean, Chris was here, at launch good. I mean, beautiful idea. And this is the type of ec excellence. How are you beautifying the world? And this is how we have to think about what we're doing with, with our work, right? The work that we have, what is, how is it beautifying the world? And ita idil qurba, and giving the rights that are due to the people uh, who are uh, near to you. Qurba could also be understood as relatives, but Qurba is nearness to, uh, to those individuals who are near to you. Whether, you know, when we're talking about uh, think globally, act locally, right? These are individuals who are neighborhood, communities, uh, starting to think from that perspective. So this is the, the way we're directed from our tradition perspective. That these are the three positive things always think about when you're going out there. Are, is your work principle-based? And then three things that are, are, are told that be watchful, be on guard about these three things. What are these three things? Right? It starts with uh, what you're trading, what you're uh, propagating. Make sure it doesn't have that lewdness act to it. Whether it's speech, whether it's in uh, images, or uh, character, right? It, has, it can't be vulgar. What you're producing, it can't be vulgar. And this is what the Quran reminds us. And the two more things, um, al-munkar, is, is uh, which is the exact opposite of, in English, what we say public good, ma'roof. Right? You have ma'roof, which is understood to be something that is universally accepted good. It's not something new. It's something that people all over the world, whether you go to China, uh, India, or uh, America, it's accepted as uh, ethically good and moral. And then the last is rebellion, right? And, and so this is what we're going to, uh, in, uh, inshallah, uh, talk about and, and think and uh, associate w as we come, to, um, come together. So I want to welcome you and um, you know, let's have a discussion. Let's have a, uh, you know, more thought to what we're doing today. And um, thank you so much for listening. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.